that's kind of like the inside joke of Gorilla Mindset. Is people go, what does Gorilla Mindset mean? I'm like, it doesn't mean anything. It's just. <laughs> so it was funny when Jesse Lee and I were talking, um, he was interviewing me. He goes, he goes, so Gorilla Mindset, like, what does that mean? And I said, well, you know, gorillas unconsciously trigger strength. Red and black are like cool colors. So I thought it'd like look pretty badass. And he goes, oh, I was expecting a deeper answer. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, even the color, I mean, the color of Gorilla Mindset, the color tone is a certain way because red is an action-oriented color. That's even why the red pill and blue pill doesn't come from the matrix. It comes from scientific studies in the color. And they found that if you give a person a placebo, which is a non-acting pill, a sugar pill essentially, the color of the pill will actually influence the placebo effect. And they found out that if they gave people a blue pill, they would be more drowsy. And the pharmaceutical companies found out if they gave people a red pill, even though it was a placebo, they would report feeling more alert. So that's where the blue pill, red pill stuff comes from. Red and yellow are also called power colors. So if you're an author, you want to incorporate those color schemes into your book, at least if it's a book on mindset. Gorilla was chosen because unconsciously, you're either going to love it or hate it. If you're a literalist, you're going to say, gorilla is a dumb animal. I don't want to be a dumb animal. I'm not going to pick up this book. But if you're my kind of person, you're going to think, well, I like, you know, big gorillas, and I want to be a big gorilla too, so I'm going to pick up the book and look at it. This is sort of like marketing advice. You want to find your crowd, and then that means repelling the people who aren't your crowd right away. Otherwise, you get dragged into, you know, people like, oh, sell me on Gorilla Mindset. There's, you look at the book cover, you either want to buy the book, or you think, what an idiot whoever would have done this. It's a very strong visceral reaction, whereas other bo books are more, that want to be more mainstream, that's actually a mistake. You want to be shocking and jarring. Fame is different today. Fame is much more long tail or niche. It used to be you would be Stephen King or John Grisham. You would be a famous person. Axl Rose or Jay-Z or Kanye West. You would be a superstar or you would not.